Hi guys, it's Friday again, so time to talk about Laserdisc, and I just had my brother over. He's here for spring break, so I got to see him the very last day of spring break. I think mm -hmm. you're going back tomorrow, right? Yep, tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, yeah, so the snowstorm pushed that back a little bit <laughs> Oh yeah, week, so, blizzard. Yeah, <laughs> but finally, because last time you were here, my I had a broken Sony mm -hmm. Laserdisc player, so no functioning player, and like 20 discs. And now that he's here, I have a functional player and around 200 discs. Yeah, we spent a lot of time just going through all the ones yeah, that maybe just, I'd know. Yeah, looking at stuff, trying to figure out what to watch. But So what's your overall impression, before we talk about the couple of movies I showed him here, of the Laserdisc format, just as a complete like, you know, layman, just like seeing it for the first time? Just like, seeing it, like, it just looks bulky, which just makes it seem much more interesting. Like, the first movie we watched uh, was The Evil Dead. Yeah, The Evil Dead, which right. the one you've seen before, out of the three. This one, yeah. yeah so, mm -hmm. beautiful. Oh, I loved it. And yeah. Uh, and just seeing it through the videos uh, is much different than seeing it like yeah, and like actually holding, like holding it, holding person, it yeah. and holding it, and then actually seeing like the disc as it comes out, like this massive, just like for the first time it looked like a massive DVD. Yeah. Yeah. But so it just looks like I don't know, it just seems more professional. I guess is the one word that yeah. maybe I would use. It feels more like. A, like a serious collector in a way, you know, not yeah. not in like a pretentious like I'm mm -hmm. better than you kind of way, but yeah, you know, it just there's a different feel to collect yeah. a laserdisc versus a DVD of the same movie. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah, yeah. And I don't know, seeing this like a stack of these just like going along a shelf mm -hmm. seems much more interesting to me than seeing like a bunch of DVDs. Like even though for the DVDs you can clearly see like maybe like a little picture or like the title, yeah. the director, the studios, and this you can kind of just see maybe the title depending yeah. on the depending on it. Like, then you pull it out and it's like wow, this yeah, is cool. Yeah. You pull it out, and yeah. it's awesome. And a lot of the box sets you have, yeah. um, with a lot of the art that they come with, is just very interesting and oh, yeah. something that you know I haven't been experiencing. Yeah. And for this movie, because you've seen the Evil Dead a bunch of times, you have a bunch mm -hmm. of copies of it yourself. Yeah. Picture and sound quality, like, isn't it amazing? Yeah, considering it's really... like when this, this edition came out, like comparable to VHS versus mm -hmm. like you've seen on DVD, right? Things like that. Like yeah. the first time I ever saw Evil Dead was on VHS, mm -hmm. just like a VHS copy I found yeah. at a thrift store uh, near me, and then seeing it on this um, is much different. Uh, much different experience, uh, as you said, sound quality, video quality, everything. Yeah. I think you can appreciate what they did more. Yeah, yeah, which is nice. Perfect. And this one has a perfect cut. That's one of the favorites yeah. for the for the uh, different size for the disc. I yeah. love this in particular because when Scott pulls, starts, goes to pull back the shower curtain. Yeah, and like it cuts right there. It's like ah, oh, that's perfect. It's like, like ah, yeah. It's like the intermission type yeah, thing yeah. in like old movies. Yeah, which is it's, it's a cool experience. Yeah, like, yeah, I know. I loved it. Yeah. Uh, and then we experienced yes. that. Yes, yes. Just... the next two were movies he'd never seen before because <laughs> we had to watch that because he's a big Evil Dead fan, big Sam mm. Raimi fan, big Bruce Campbell fan, as yeah. every intelligent individual should be a big Bruce Campbell fan. <laughs> but then we picked some stuff he'd never seen before, so I had to show him oh since gosh. he's never seen it. I mean, I can't help myself. My wife will just you know, sh you know shrug her shoulders yeah. and roll her eyes, but... Barbarella, oh Barbarella, Barbarella, oh Barbarella. Oh um, my gosh. <laughs> so oh you had to show me Barbarella. <laughs> had to show you I don't even know what I was watching for half the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing his face, like, what the hell is happening in this movie? I, I honestly didn't know at some point. Like, as you said, like lava lamp, space travel. It just didn't make any sense. Some of the lines in there. Just <laughs> But did you overall enjoy it? That's what I, I did. Saying. I did really. And enjoy you can it. say you hate it just because I love it. You don't have to. No, like no, no. It. I just... think I don't know if I'm deciding if I would have liked it if I watched it like by myself, just like I, like made that like my kind of movie night. Yeah. Uh, but like seeing it with you just to like laugh with it. Yeah. Uh, just at the ridiculous. I think yeah. I liked it a lot more. Yeah. So. Oh, wait, wait. I can't understand you. Let me adjust my tongue box. Let me just <laughs> <laughs> say again. <It's> so <laughs> casual. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> but yeah, well, I, I just I have this weird thing for that movie. Like yeah. I, we, were, we were talking about in the car, went to get lunch, mm -hmm. and it's just like most of my other favorite movies are. It makes sense. Like oh, there's like a Criterion editions of this right. movie, or it's like a big historically it's significant, really good movie, like, yeah. masterpiece. And then like Barbarella is, <laughs> is up there with some of my other favorites, which is just this weird thing. I don't know. I just like it's, it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's cool. It's weird. It's cool. It's really weird. Yeah, I like it for but, more than just the legendary title sequence, which is incredible. I could watch that on a loop. But <laughs> I love the music. But right. speaking of music, uh, music mm. that I like even more than Barbarella, something I can't believe you've never seen before because. You know, you don't know my brother, but he is a huge theater geek. Yeah. He is, you know, did all of the musicals. He's mm -hmm. a good singer. Um, if you saw my 12 Days of Shenmue thing two yeah. Christmases ago, <laughs> yeah. that was him singing and mm -hmm. things like that. Like, so he's a big theater guy and big musicals. And somehow, I don't know how, in some warped reality, 
he had never seen the Little Shop of Horrors. No. Ever. He knew about it, but he'd never seen it. No, like, I've, uh, I've heard some of the music before, like, in a friend's car ride. Yeah. But, yeah. like, I've but never I, actually seen it. Yes. Um, I've actually never seen, like, a copy of it, like a VHS or a DVD. Oh, I've never yeah. actually seen uh, something like that. Yeah, so. so this was, I was almost jealous for you to be able to see this for the first time. On like, Laserdisc? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Like, it's so cool. I, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I was not, Like, the only songs I knew were um, Suddenly Seymour yeah. and the opening scene, yeah. Little Shop of Horrors. Only songs I knew, and I knew nothing about the plot other than the plant. It's um, so good. Yeah, no, it was, oh my gosh, I loved it, and it was really funny, too. Uh, I was not expecting uh, Steve Martin or Bill Murray to show up <laughs> in, <laughs> in this movie at all. Uh, I, so. I love it, and like, I just, I remember before, because I grew up with Rick Moranis, like, mm. I love Rick Moranis. <laughs> yeah, and I only knew him from, mostly from Spaceballs. Oh, okay, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So. Oh, I, I love everything he's been in, and then like, I remember as a kid, and you're like, wow, Rick Moranis can sing. <laughs> Suddenly Seymour. And he's really good, too. Standing I... <laughs> beside you. And I can't sing. But... No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, I, I love this movie. And it's, it's music's great. The humor. Oh, yeah. I mean, just, mm -hmm. the, the animatronics are awesome. And oh, like, my gosh. I was so surprised. Yeah. What would you say? Yeah. It was 86? Yeah, it was 86. Yeah, and it yeah. looked absolutely lifelike. As you said, it, it wouldn't have worked like CGI. Yeah, uh, it would've, it would've, CGI would be awful. This is a big. Purpose. It wouldn't have worked. Yeah, yeah. definitely would not have worked. It's CGI. Just awesome. Yeah, no, it, oh, I loved it. It was like good. Yeah. So that was his first experience with Laserdisc. Yeah. Trying to pick out some stuff that I knew you would appreciate. And <laughs> I'm taking a chance with Barbara if you'd like it or not. But That's fine. <laughs> yeah. So overall, overall, you like Laserdisc so far? So far, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like three movies in one day. It's probably the most movies I've ever watched in a single day. <laughs> Uh, other than like um, marathon watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy, yeah, that's probably the most I've ever done. That counts as nine movies. I guess so. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, just wanted to talk about a couple movies there and have my brother on talk about his first experience. And I'm glad it was a positive one. It was. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No coercing here. No knife mm -hmm. to his throat. Just kind of asking. And maybe when watching Barbarella a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. No, okay. Enjoy it. No. Ah, oh, this stuff is hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pretty, 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 pretty. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thank you for watching again, and I'll see you for more Laserdisc stuff next Friday, if not before. There'll be stuff in between. So see you guys around, and you'll see him again in, who knows, four or five months, whatever. Maybe. Whenever I'm home again. around there next year. We'll see. 2018, you'll see him again. Yeah, that was... Yeah. All right, see ya. <laughs>